Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you the five things that I wish that I knew before starting breastfeeding. So I hope that you enjoyed today's video. I hope that it's helpful and without further ado, let's get started. Number one, the first thing that I wish that I knew before starting breastfeeding is that it is hard. I will say it's hard physically. And what I mean by that is just like your body has never done this before. Your body has never like, I remember somebody saying like the tissues in your breast aren't used to that. And so they're like being extracted or something like that. Um, and so it's just really, really painful at first. After the first, I would say like week or two, it gets better. Um, and I remember those, that first week, we went in to, to see a lactation consultant, maybe like a week after Jonah was born, less than that. And we started from, from the get-go, from at the hospital, I was using these like cups. I don't really know how to describe it. I think it's called a nipple shield. Um, and what it was, it's supposed to be used, I think, to collect your milk, but I was using it so that to protect me, I guess. Um, and so that's, that was one thing that I would suggest for the pain. And then also like the, the nursing pads. Um, and I would say get the reusable ones because they're like so, so soft. And those also like help to, to like soak up any breast milk if, so that you're not like leaking everywhere basically so i would say those are like two like great great things also nipple cream super helpful because it's just like helps to relieve and like prevent any further hurting so yeah yeah so it's hard physically number two i wish that i realized how personal it is so i remember just like crying and how like emotionally taxing it was especially because I had low, low milk supply. And if you guys want to see and hear my story and just like my journey with breastfeeding, uh, I would gladly make a video on that. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see that. But um, emotionally, it's just so hard because there's such like a personal... I mean, it, it's my baby. It's Jonah, my son. And so there's so much attached to that that I want to be the one to... Like I'm, suppo I'm supposed to be giving this to him, like I'm supposed to be providing this for him. And then also along with social media, you have like all of these people posting that they're pumping 10 ounces or whatever. And I'm like sitting over here like, okay, I'm pumping like one to four ounces per pumping session. And it gets really, really discouraging because yeah, I, I want to be able to provide this for Jonah and, and it, I just couldn't. And so from the get go, um, I would say from the get-go we were we were supplementing. I stopped at a point for longer than I should have, honestly. And then I started supplementing again because my milk supply was so low. Um, and I, I wish that we started supplementing sooner because for a while Jonah wasn't back at his birth weight yet. And I would say for like at least a month he wasn't back at his birth weight. And now looking back on that, I feel like, I feel like that was I, I don't want to say this, but I feel like it was selfish of me because I was like so, like, I had it in my mind that he was, like, it wasn't me, like, it wasn't my low milk supply, like, it was, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't my low milk supply, and now looking back, it's like, oh yeah, it was, and I'm sure, like, looking back, there were things that I could have done differently. I think that he might have a lip tie, um, and I think I just discovered that like a month ago, and I remember that they had said that in the hospital, so I wish that I would have looked into that, but I'm getting off track, so. Uh, it's emotionally hard. La 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 Hey, hey you. Yes you. Are you subscribed to our channel? Make sure you subscribe. Subscribe now. Number three, which kind of goes with the last one. Hormones are crazy. So um, just, I think that this is like just a long breastfeeding in general, like for the amount of time that you're going to be breastfeeding, hormones are really, really difficult. And be, I say that the whole time because I know that once you wean from breastfeeding, I know that there are emotions that come with that too and hormones that come with that. Um, so hormones are just all over the place. And I think that that was something that we hear a lot about during pregnancy that your hormones are all out of whack, you're going to be emotional, 
yada yada. But I think I didn't know that you were you were going to be hormonal after giving birth too. And I remember like so many, especially the week after having Jonah, I was an emotional wreck. Um, and I don't know if there was, I mean, it was like COVID too. So I know that there were some things going on with there. Um, but of course, like I just had a baby, like, I don't know. I, I feel like I didn't, I wish that I would have known that I was going to be as emotional as I was. <laughs> Number four is that it's still limiting. So I didn't know this that I guess I, I should maybe I should have known this I, I didn't know that I still it's kind of like you're still pregnant like you're still not able to eat everything that you want to eat you're not able to drink everything that you want to drink I remember um, Nestor had gotten really into drinking yerba um, and I couldn't drink it while I was pregnant and then I realized that I couldn't drink it while I was breastfeeding either and so Nestor was like there were a lot of things that like Nestor likes and I still wasn't able to enjoy those things even when I was breastfeeding and um, so I would say like, and, and then like you're supposed to be eating certain things, like certain things are better for you than others. And of course, like this goes along with like, it's still physically demanding is that like, I like you're encouraging, you're, you're feeding your baby. And so you're like, okay, like I have to eat healthier because these nu nutrients aren't just for me, like they're for Jonah too. And so there was that pressure behind me too of like, okay, I need to eat healthier to take care of my baby. So I would say that it is still limiting, which I mean, is the same thing as when you're pregnant, right? Like you want to be eating well so that you're like nourishing your child. Um, but I would just say that that's a continuation into, pre into breastfeeding and I didn't know that. And lastly, I would say number five, that it isn't always beautiful. Like it isn't always this like super beautiful romantic thing that is just like the best thing in the world and like the most bonding experience and blah, blah, blah. Like I think I had this vision of what breastfeeding was going to be like and like me and Jonah are just gonna be like sitting there. And it's just gonna be this beautiful experience and I'm gonna have like tears of joy all the time because it's this beautiful experience. But I was like crying tears of like pain and like <laughs> just emotions um, because it's really hard. And I think that even though it isn't always this like beautiful magical thing, it is sometimes like, and I think those times that it is and those times that it's, it's worth it, you know, like I think that even though I wasn't able to breastfeed him 100%, like I am encouraged by the fact that I was, and I'm not like knocking anybody who does formula feeding, like I think that like being able to decide to do formula is like, it takes so much courage to do that. I think that there is so much pressure to breastfeed that it's not, it's, I feel like it's kind of frowned on to do formula. And so me, like with knowing that I'm like so happy that I was able to do like the best of both worlds really, because he was able to get like, maybe I wasn't eating as great as I could have. And so he was able to get more of those nutrients from the formula. And then sometimes, and I know that like there are antibodies and things like that that he's able to get from the breast milk that he wouldn't necessarily be getting from the formula. And so I really think that Jonah was able to get the best of both worlds in this situation. And so yeah, I would say that again, it isn't the most beautiful, romantic, magical thing, but sometimes it is. And that is the last thing <laughs> that I wish that I knew before before starting breastfeeding. So if you guys have any questions, if you have any recommendations for future videos, if you have any uh, tips for me or anything like that, please leave a comment down below. I, ho I hope that you enjoyed today's video and that it was helpful and thank you for watching. Bye!